this is the energy vibration release reading for the Leo Sun Moon and Rising. It is the month of February 2018. And this month of February is the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is a fire energy, and the zodiac energies are um, air and water, air and water. So um this month I have four weeks and in this month there are um, the month begin with the fire energy the energy of the tower and then you have the star and then um, you have the water sign the moon and then we move forward to the Sun sign which is another fire energy so let's look at you Leo's for the first week of February and let's see what we have first week of February with the energy of the tower we have the energy of the Empress the energy of the Empress is the earth energy and this is bringing in your materialistic needs and wants and you are going to be realizing how important it is because um, you guys have the energy of the hermit okay so the energy of the hermit for you guys in this month is going to be a time that you're going to step back and to, um, look within um, you're going to balance out yourself your energies you're going to realize all that has transpired and realize that you need to do and make changes in your life and you need to look at certain aspects of yourself okay so the energy of the tower comes in the first week and you have the energy of the Empress this is a wonderful energy because this is an earth energy and this is letting you know that no matter what um, goes on your materialistic needs will be fulfilled as we move to the second week of February for you Leo's you have the energy of the three of swords I'm not sure what is coming up with this energy but there is a lot of stuff that is coming up with this energy the energy of the three of swords has been coming up for a lot of signs so um, it's amazing that it comes up um, in um, the month of in the second week you have the energy of the start so whatever that was lost whatever that you have lost there is a gain that is going to come in because the energy of the star comes up as we move forward we are looking at the third week the third week is the energy of the moon and intuition week and you guys have the energy of the five of cups you have the energy of the five of cups you have some regrets that you're dealing with so you have heartbreaks and regrets um, the energy of the moon is going to bring certain aspects and certain things and balance out certain aspects and certain things for you as we look at the fourth and final week the energy of the Sun you have the energy of an organization and with the energy of an organization what is happening here and what is transpiring is that whatever a situation that you have with a lost um, regrets with an organization you are going to be balancing this out because the energy of the Sun is going to come in okay so it's um, the month for you guys is really a month of uh, um, um, meditation a month of looking in a month of dealing with certain aspect um, there is a, um, a loss regrets with a situation with an organization and here you are trying to balance it out in this month so let's look what is the energy with um, the Empress and the three of swords um, you have here um, an energy that is coming in um, between the first week and the second week um, you have the energy of the ten of swords in a reverse so um, things are looking up because what is happening what is transpiring is that the energy of the Empress um, with the three of swords heartbreak and loss um, the ten of swords is coming in the reverse position which is um, very good okay so um, there is 
in the first two weeks a sense of okay um, uh, things are happening um, the tower came and um, but yet still I'm still um, can survive um, this uh, situation as we look at the second week and the third week we have the energy of you finding your true inner light um, you're no longer in um, you know in in um, uh, slumbering in um, a sense of you uh, trying to you know uh, work towards something and now you have returned to your true self you are understanding certain aspect in certain situation you are more understanding who you are and the things that has transpired and how you need to move on and move along because you have a heartbreak and a feeling a sense of loss you have heartbreak and feeling a sense of loss but you're as the month goes on especially between the second week and the third week you're going to be finding that inner strength and that light within to push yourself forward okay as we move forward and we look at the third week and the fourth week you have the nine of ones and whatever the situation whatever that was transpiring um, the energy of the nine of ones is letting you know that you are protected spiritually you are protected okay because there's obvious a sense of loss um, between the third week and the fourth week and uh, you're going to be um, uh, um, understanding that no matter what the loss is outside on the inside your angels and guides are protecting you and this is going to be perfectly fine it's going to work out okay all right as we look and see the um, ten of swords and the energy of uh, the hangman um, in the upright position um, which means that um, even though um, you have been stabbed in the back and that sort of a thing now um, the truth and your true pure light is coming out now you have the supporting energy of um, the three of cups the three of cups so whatever has transpired that you were or broken that a certain aspect and certain situation did not go the way you wanted to go yet still you're coming out of this situation and you're going to be okay you're going to realize that oh my gosh I am really being um, protected by um, I lights I a beam of lights that is surrounding you and protecting you and helping you to overcome the things the loss that you have had and what you have felt okay as we look and see what it is that you're feeling regrets about you're feeling regrets about something but yet still you are trying to stay above water yet still you're trying to um, find a common ground and in this time you're being protected and you have the four of swords so they're saying to take some rest take some rest you need to take some rest because all the stuff that has been going on has been so erotic it has been um, flooding you with um, different sort of a situation that has transpired and it is saying to you now take some rest um, you are having regrets but yet still you're seeing the truth of a situation and you're being protected take some rest and then move forward from there okay so let's move forward and see what is going to be the outcomes of your month and the outcomes of your month is judgment there is going to be judgment there is going to be a huge judgment that is going to happen and that is going to come in there is going to be a judgment okay so the judgment um, is 
with you and someone else with you and um, someone else that things as transpire and this can be for a lot of people who are married a lot of people who are in um, relationships um, long lasting relationships a lot of people who have because there is not a sense of anything that is coming coming in about work it is all about um, you finding yourself you go within and look and shed a light on yourself it's about healing yourself it's about um, being in that sense that you're trying to find your true self um, trying to realize what transpired and how you can heal the situation and heal it in a good um, um, way because it is something that happens be between and is affecting you and another person this is a past life situation because we have the energy of the wheel of fortune in the month of February and that is the general energies and you are working with the wheel of fortune and the hermit because this is something that has transpired out of another lifetime that you brought back in this lifetime to heal and um, this is why you have felt a loss and regrets about certain things that transpire okay there is a lot of worries that you're having um, with um, someone who you're dealing with and this could be people who are married or in relationships or separates and have kids and that sort of a thing this is a situation where you have the energy of the nine of swords and the two of cups and the energy of the nine of swords and the two of cups is coming back and it is showing you um, that you have actually brought this on on yourself because it was a karmatic situation that you need to heal and you um, didn't um, um, dealt with it as um, as supposed to be and this is what is transpiring so as we look at your month it is all about your materialistic things whatever is there there is no worries that is happening for you because um, you are going to come out of this and there is going to be a judgment call and this judgment call is going to help you to understand um, what has transpired whatever the situation um, of this judgment call um, it is a sense of um, because the most um, the thing that is the most focus in this month for you guys is that you're finding your true inner light with the heartbreak the regrets you're still trying to find your true inner light you're still trying to stand up you're still trying to uh, work on a certain aspect and situation you're still trying to figure out where you are and how you can make things um, much better for you okay so um, let's look and see what the energies and uh, don't forget with the regrets the art breaks and regrets then and there you will find your true inner light of who you truly are you have and these cards can go always but you have the energy of Archangel Uriel Archangel Raphael and Saint and Archangel Zachiel so um, what you can do in this month is call upon Archangel Uriel to touch open and activate your solar your solar plex chakra you can call upon Archangel Raphael to um, um, touch and open your third eye and heal your um, materialistic needs and you can call upon arts angel Zatkiel and Saint Germain to bring in the golden silver foiled flame and ask them to transmute all the lower energies in you and around you okay so this is what is going to be transpiring for you as we move forward and we are working with the ascendance masters we are going to see 
what is happening and the energy of the animal comes up and this is good because as you heal yourself you can also heal the energy of the animal I honor and respect all animals I honor and respect all animals I honor and respect all animals so whatever that is happening whatever that is transpiring you are seeing the situation for what it is and at that time you're healing yourself but you're also healing other people and other situations okay let's move forward and look and see what is transpiring your guidance is to call upon um, the angel Fielin and the angels of animals to look after them and Archangel Michael to protect them and the unicorns to enlighten the animals okay this card has come up for another sign realization and what it is saying is that the frequency of the realization supports um, the internal process of being aware of our heart center throughout as well as the external process of becoming our eyes expressional world okay so this is wonderful this is perfect and I want to say namaste until next time